Ah. Welcome. If anybody's watching this live, welcome. If you're watching this later, welcome. My name is Jeremy Ginsberg, and this is something I've been meaning to do for the last few weeks is make a vlog about this latest health adventure. <laughs> the health adventure has been going on for a while, but the latest raw fruitarian aspect of it has been new. And so I wanted to, to talk about that a little bit because I enjoy sharing and I know my experience can be valuable to others watching. And also, I know there's a lot of smart people out there on the internet that can provide some ideas, tips, resources in exploring the, the road to health, to vitality, which is what we all really want, right? We want to feel good inside. And especially when, when you're not healthy, that's really all you want. So reminds me of a quote. Um, I forget who said it or exactly, but uh, a healthy man has thousands of dreams. An unhealthy man has just one. So that hits home to me because I haven't been very healthy for the last few years, to be honest. And that is very painful for me to admit. I don't often share my vulnerability, my dark side, especially on social media these days. I used to write about the chronic pain that I've been going through. And more recently, I've just, I found more fitting containers for that support. But I want to open back up to the world and see, see who's out there, see what this brings up. Uh, I'm not scripting this. I'm just flowing from, from my heart. And so here we go. Thanks for joining. Anyways. All right. So I've made a couple of vlogs on, on food and nutrition in the last three or four years. The most popular ones are one on the Gerson therapy diet. That's something that's seems to get a lot of, of views and comments and people are interested. I only made one or two of those because I felt so crappy during that time. I didn't have the energy and then I stopped. And so not much to that story. And then also the master fast systems where I did that for 18 days. And there's a really popular video on how uh, to break a dry fast on that. And a lot of the comments are like, no, you're doing it wrong. And so, so those are the two, I would say, extreme, but also powerful healing systems through diet that I've tried thus far. Um, and my main symptoms since 2016 are chronic headaches every single day. And what's gotten much worse the last few years is fatigue and heaviness and depression not in the sense of, oh, I'm depressed, my life sucks, in the sense that it's like a, a magnet keeping me in bed, horrible thoughts, diabolical depression. To me, it's beyond the psychological form of that. And I've even had a psychotherapist confirm. So I'm dealing with a lot of different symptoms. It's extremely debilitating. It is challenging. It, it runs life. People ask, oh, I just, I saw you move to Vietnam. How's, how's it going in Vietnam? Do you like it there? Hoi An. And my answer really depends on how I'm feeling in that moment. And the outside to me has so little value or importance when the inside is so, so dark, so scary, so painful. So, of course, I've tried other diets as well, the ketogenic diet, paleo, um, vegan, vegetarian, low histamine diet, and maybe a couple others. But the, the ones that I want to bring up is the Gerson therapy and the master fast system because those are the most similar to what I'm experiencing now. And also those two seem to be the last resort for a lot of people. 
and they have all these amazing stories of people healing and curing themselves from cancer or horrible illnesses. So why am I doing a raw fruitarian diet? It's because about three weeks ago now, today is day 19 since going raw fruitarian. Three weeks ago, it was, it was just horrible. It was a horrible day. And the saddest part is this happens quite often. But I, I woke up and it was just in a cloud of smoke, in a pool of pain. And it was physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain, spiritual pain, every level. And for me, the, the hardest part is, is being in that, am I going to make it? Why am I here? What's going on? I, I, it's not that I want to kill myself, but it's I don't want to keep living. This is so painful. This is so hard. I've, I've done all the diets. I've done all the research. I've done the plant medicine, done the meditation retreats. Why am I not getting better? Am I here just to suffer? And it's just so, it's so challenging and so painful and dark. It's just, it's just dark. There's no other way to put it. It's horrible. It's heavy. It's dark. And I've been trying so many emotional supports, mental breath work. I, I'm a breath work facilitator. I coach other people. And a lot of the tools and techniques that help them don't give me the cure, the relief. So it's been frustrating. I've been talking to my coach every Monday, Joshua. I love him to death. And pretty much for the last, until this day, I'm here Monday. I call it my rock bottom birthday. It was Monday. I can't do the math. January, late January, January. And before that, I was talking to my, my coach, spiritual counselor, advisor, mentor. He wears a lot of hats. He's amazing. And pretty much every time I talked to him Monday morning, I would start crying in the first five minutes. It was just so painful, no matter what, it's just having the space. And so I was talking to him that Monday, and I decided that I need to make a change. And that's actually, oh, it's the same day Kobe Bryant died. So I remember finding out about that and sitting with myself and realizing, wow, this guy just died. You know, and I played basketball growing up, so it hit me home. I, the way I put it, he's, he's a prophet in the religion of basketball, really shaking up the world and waking people up to the emotions and the reality of, of death and that it, it happens to everyone. And so I remember looking at that and just feeling like, wow, I, I got to do something. I can't wake up every day not wanting to live when this amazing, beautiful being along with his daughter and everyone else on the plane is dying and it's so tragic and sad. There's something, there's something wrong here. There's something that's off. So I knew I had to make a change. And this hasn't, this isn't the first time this has happened. There's plenty of times where I, I get to so much desperation that I, I declare, all right, I'm, I did this in 2018. I said, all right, I'm doing 90 days without marijuana, THC, which is what I use a lot of the times, well, less recently, actually, for pain relief, you know, to do anything. I, I believe we, we operate from a sense of inspiration or desperation. And for me, it's just been stance back and forth where I take action out of desperation and then the inspiration comes. But for me, it's actually more desperation. And then later the inspiration follows and when I learn about it and I feel better. But the sad thing is I haven't really felt much better. So it's just overall frustrating, devastating. So on that Monday, I just decided I need to make a change. And for me, I, I felt like I need pharmaceuticals. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll take a pill. Anything, please, God, universe, goddess, whatever's out there, please help me because I can't, I can't keep going like this. And so that day was a very, very challenging day. Uh, I won't go through the, the, the process and the trauma and, and what came up, but basically my prayers were answered. And long story short, the woman who I reached out to asking if she knew a, a good psychiatrist, she was very helpful. She said, no, but I'll find one. Meanwhile, she essentially convinced me to go raw <laughs> and figured, I figured I got nothing to lose. So she was beautiful. I, I still, I love her to this day. I don't know if she wants me to say her name, but we're in touch. She's helping me a lot. But basically she 
Yeah, she's like, I have you gone raw? And she started asking me these questions. Are you, you know, have you been eating dairy since a young age? Have you eaten a lot of processed food since a young age? Because to me, the story that my my victimhood has been telling myself is nothing's ever going to work. I've already tried this. You know, because I've done acupuncture, I've done so many doctors, so many healers, east, west, north, south, out of this world, aliens, channeling, all these different things. And I just want relief. And so the the pain body in me, it's like, ah, oh, nothing's ever gonna get better. Um so so when she said go raw, I thought, oh, I I've, I've done that. I I was eating, I did a papaya fast for 10 days, 2018 or 17, I believe. And the headaches were still there. So I figured, all right, this isn't it, move on. But she helped me see it through a new perspective. And basically, I won't get into the details of how she convinced me because I was just like, all right, fuck it. I'll, I'll go raw and then I'll find a psychiatrist if I still wake up in, in a puddle of suicide every day and, and don't have the energy to, to get out of bed and do anything till 5 p.m. Um, I've been to the Western medicine and by the way, my blood, everything, they're like, oh, it's high, healthy, nothing, nothing there. You know, I've had different angles come in, but it's not like I'm avoiding um, conventional medicine at all. But there is a part of me that had judgments against it, against it. So on that day, I was just like, all right, please help me, whatever's out there. And I feel like my prayers were definitely answered. And so I decided um, that day I didn't uh, eat raw, but then the next day I started. And then that was Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I felt so much better. And by Thursday, I was pretty much eating mostly fruitarian because I'm not foreign to this concept because of the master fast, because I've done a 10-day papaya fast, and also because the Gerson therapy. All those little things gave me some some faith around this, like, all right, maybe there is some hope. Um, but what actually what I was looking for is why would a raw diet be different and the main thing that got me is that I hadn't really done it long term. I felt I was looking for this quick cure, like, all right, 10 days or master fast. I did it for 18 days. Gerson therapy, I think I did six weeks. And they say, you got to do it for at least two years. Master fast suggests 108 days to just to start. But at the same time, I didn't feel like I had a logical roadmap of the building blocks of, of why and, and what's going on and where is this coming from. And so this time around, I've been really reading a lot and trying to speak to my left brain, my logical brain, and figure out, okay, what's the cause of disease? How is this working? Blah, blah, blah. Instead of just following the, the protocol, really, really tapping in. And I did that actually with the Gerson diet. Um, I was reading all the books, but then I was just feeling so horrible. I was like, I don't think this is good for me. And it's so time intensive as well. Three to five coffee enemas a day, six to eight organic juices. It's expensive. Um, with the master fast, what I was realizing is master fast is deep. It's powerful. I also feel like it's filled with a lot of truths and a lot of not truths. And that's what messed with me because if it's all not true, I know I don't need to to believe in these things. But there's a line from a book, I think uh, Arnold Eret said it, that the most harmful, dangerous information out there is half truth, half lie. And that's what I felt with the master fast. And again, I love you. You can do whatever you want. But it felt too intense. It felt like they were selling me this story, like you, you have so much to heal. And anytime you go right out of bounds, it's not going to work. And same thing I got from the Gerson therapy, from that diet. They say you have to stick to it strict for one or two years. And if you go a little bit off, then it could mess up the entire healing process. That just didn't make sense to me. Deep down on that Monday, I was, I was forced to face this deep part of me that's like, can man heal himself naturally? Or are we just a broken record that's going to skip sometimes and we don't know why? And that was, that was difficult to sit with. It was super challenging. I noticed so much self-judgment for me coming up if I were to choose to take pharmaceuticals and noticing this part of me that said, the shadow, oh, how are you going to help people if you're on pharmaceuticals? You can't be a, a real healer if you take Western medicine. All these things, I just love them and release them and let them go. And now I find myself in this raw fruitarian and it's starting to make sense. Logically, it makes sense. How do I feel? It's still challenging. But those first days 
when I just flipped over to Raw, it was like, ooh, it was like I was looking in a mirror with dust covered all over, and I cleaned it up, and all of a sudden, like I could see again, I could live again. I was, I was still waking up with headaches, but. 30 minutes later, I had all this energy. Boom, free. Ah, what do I do? I had more energy than I knew what to do with because basically I've been running my life and business around having one to three hours of, of clear, focused energy a day. Everything else is either a struggle or um, doing spiritual, physical, mental practice to, to hold space for myself, getting massages, going to a sauna. So my life is pretty much self-healing as it is which is even more frustrating. So when I talked to my spiritual teacher, he, he can't, I don't think I'll bring that in right now, but it's, I guess, no, it, it's frustrating. So my spiritual teacher, this is something I also don't share that many with people. It's, it's, it's an ascended master who comes through a, a, a channel in the UK and filled with wisdom, filled with truth, filled with love, filled with compassion. But it's, it's not someone who lives on this earth. It's someone who's coming in through a human body. So it's been frustrating because each week I come back and, and he hasn't said anything about my diet. He doesn't say, oh, your, your kidneys aren't filtering or blah, 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 or this. It's more just he can see aur auras and energy fields and, and stuff like that. So, so that was another thing that was messing with me because I have all these amazing resources. Why am I not getting better? So those first eight days, I'm telling you, I was so high. And I'm not talking I was taking marijuana, didn't take any CBD, no psychotropics. I was higher than a kite. I feel like nothing could touch me. And it was just amazing. And I was like, wow, this is awesome. And I was spending all my energy learning about raw food and fruitarianism. Okay, let's go back into it. Why is this working? How can I continue? Blah, 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 blah. But then there's this part of me that's like, if If I have all these symptoms, how do they just go away in a snap of a finger? So I got my eye red of an irid iridology, iridology, and basically that shown that showed me that my whole basically since a kid I just didn't have good genetics. But it started to make sense because based on my eyes, can't see too well. Um, if you pull up the chart, it shows up that I have a lot of toxicity in the body that needs detoxing. So I was meeting with her, but I was still feeling amazing, feeling high. And I'm talking, I went from a pretty clean diet. I was eating, you know, maybe fruit for, for lunch because breakfast, if I wake up in time, I don't even know if I have the energy to go downstairs. That's how bad it was and is. I'm going to cry. <laughs> So lunch would be like usually tea or cacao and then I'll have some fruit and then maybe snack on some cashews and then evening vegetarian or vegan meal. So maybe once a week we go out to vegan um, Indian food. Maybe we'd have some, some bread or banh mi as they call it in Vietnam. Maybe a stir fry but pretty healthy diet by all you know normal health standards that we're given these days. So a part of me was also why – why is everybody else eating this and, and I hate myself and I don't want to live anymore and they seem to be great and excited and traveling the world and doing yoga and exercising and building their life. What, what's, what's wrong? What's, what seems off? So when I got my eye red, iris, not even just the iris, the whole thing, that, that felt very empowering, very rewarding because it showed – all these different deficiencies going on in the body. So it started to make sense. But I also realized when seeing that, then, okay, if I'm super high now, this, this probably isn't going to last because everything isn't cured. This is, I, I saw that as just like the universe being like, all right, go in this direction. You know, I was so high. I was like, pharmaceuticals, why would I need that? Like, if anything, I need, you know, I, I need some work to do. I've got all this energy. Who can I help? How can I do these things? Who, who, who wants my help? I'm, so, so that was about seven or eight days in. I was just high like a kite. And now it's been much more difficult. The last 10 days have been pretty much pretty similar to my older symptoms. Um, so it's been really challenging. But for me, I am coming back to faith. Coming back to faith in myself, faith that man was created with all the tools 
necessary all the tools. It just to me it just doesn't make sense that we wouldn't. So so what have I been eating? What have I been doing? I've been eating fruitarian and then I've had a couple salads at night. The first week I wasn't even hungry. I'd like get out a mango all the, I had like six mangoes, I would two mangoes. I'd be like, well I'm full. I don't need it anymore. So I've been reading Arnold Arendt's work, The Mucusless Diet and Rational Fasting. And I find that very very helpful, very inspiring. Also going through Dr. Morse's material called the Detox Miracle source book, I believe. And yeah, those are the two main resources I've been following. And and just three days ago, I was in so much pain. I, I was like, All right, I'm going to fast because based on Arnold Ayrett, fasting is seems to be the, he calls it nature's operating table. So now I wouldn't even say I'm a raw fruitarian. I'm legit on a, a semi-juice fast. I've been having a little bit of juice each day, but pretty much eating as little as possible, hoping, praying that my body can, can start to bounce back. Um, I'm going to be eating very soon. Uh, I'll feel it out, and then I'll go more into fruit and watermelon, berries, etc. cetera. But um, I committed to 90 days on my rock bottom birthday that Monday, I committed, all right, I'm going to do 90 days raw, give it a shot. And I had nuts the first week, didn't really sit with me. I tried cacao, didn't sit with me. I feel really drawn to the fruit, fruit and herbs. And there's a lot of resources that promote that. And it's also not new to me because the master fast was all about fruitarianism. They just had a lot of rough edges that really turned me off and, and scared the shit out of me, to be honest. But it's nice to come back and, and figure out what's true for me. At the end of the day, I, I want to feel better. I want to embody the truth, not just know it. So, so yeah, thank you for, for watching. Um, I'm going to continue, hopefully, to, to share some of my progress. This is day 20, I believe. And... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm open if you guys have any feedback or resources. Obviously, I'm going to do my own thing, but one of the reasons I wanted to, to create this video is, is to help build community because I feel like there's a lot of confused people that have gone through the Master Fast and Gerson and, like me, didn't resonate and are still trying to figure out something. But one thing I love about this lifestyle is that it's much more flexible. It's long-term. I'm just going extreme because I'm in an extremely dire situation. But basically what this friend who's been helping me, she said, yeah, I'll just, you know, go easy on yourself. You can be 90% raw and just overall eat mostly raw and that's going to help. And to me, that's, that's much more easy to swallow, pun intended, than these other diets or fasts or challenges that's like you got to do it 100%. So that feels like a good place to pause because I'm getting a headache and I want to respect my fiance downstairs who's waiting for me, but thank you for watching. Stay tuned. And if you have any resources around fruitarianism or raw or in alignment with, with why fasting is, is so beneficial and so helpful, please reach out. And if you have any questions, of course, I'm happy to help. At the same time, I'm still figuring this out myself. So as you can tell, so thank you for watching. Please um, subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, I usually don't make these types of videos now, but I may make more as I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about tapping into the truth of health and nutrition so that I can more confidently share what I feel is true. But up until now, I've been a little bit confused, so I haven't really wanted to tell people, do this, do that, because I'm still figuring out myself. But I've got tons of videos on this channel about breath work, about coaching, just mental practices to deal with the voice in your head and feel better and cruise creativity and also a lot of music so feel free if that interests you at all otherwise maybe I won't see you ever again <laughs> all right just playing I love you thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day